Hi everybody, my name is Karsten and this is the final video in the Honeycomb Maps how-to guide series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter data for a specific area. Let's get started. Here I have a basic map showing the location of deliveries in Austin, Texas. I have a map or a title card here as well as a big number aggregation card over here on the right. And I just have a single point layer um, with the delivery locations. So to add a filter for a specific area, I can open the edit map sidebar here and I can add a component and the type of that component will be a polygon filter. Now there's no additional configuration options for the polygon filter. So I can just go ahead and close the sidebar and start using the filter. So this is useful, for example, uh, for an operations manager who might be interested in the number of deliveries that happened within their territory. So to draw an area, I just click on draw area here. Then I click on the map to add a point. I continue clicking to add additional points. And then when I'm done adding points, all I need to do is click back on the first point I added. As you can see, once I finish drawing the area, the data is filtered automatically, both the point layer and then the, the big number aggregation here. And this filter will update uh, in real time as I edit the shape. So I can see that there are 1,942 um, deliveries that were made in this area. If I want, I also have the ability to download this area as a GeoJSON file or upload an existing GeoJSON file that I have. Um, this is useful in order to uh, interface perhaps with different operational systems um, at a company that might accept GeoJSON. When I'm done, I can go ahead and remove the area filter and see all of my data again. One important thing to note is that area filters are not saved. Well, the, the filter that you draw on the map um, is not persisted between sessions. And that means that you can add an area filter to your map um, and then give users the ability to filter data um, however they want when they're looking at the map. So that's the final video in the how-to series. Um, I hope you found them helpful. You can find more information as well as detailed documentation at docs.honeycombmaps.com. Thanks, everyone.